Hi, Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers here. I want to begin by thanking all of you for doing your part to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Your efforts to maintain social distancing, the sacrifices you have made when it comes to your jobs, your schooling, and your day-to-day -day activities are what we need to flatten the curve to protect the people of our state. It's also what we need to do to support our healthcare workers who are making heroic efforts to test, treat, and prevent this virus. At the same time, we also have to be patient with ourselves and each other because we're all doing this for the very first time. There's bound to be some glitches along the way. We must remember that at the end of the day, we're all doing our best and we're all trying to do the right thing to keep people safe. One of those glitches along the way has been the upcoming election. Folks, there's no real good answer to this. It's not an easy situation and frankly, no one wishes this was, was easy as much as I do. This is, as I've said, a rapidly evolving situation. I said that I would listen to the advice of the public health experts. I said I would let science be our guide, and we are. But as we face these challenges over the past few weeks, I have also asked the people of our state to do their part to help. Well, here's the bottom line, folks. If, as elected officials, we're going to expect the people of our state to make sacrifices to keep all of us safe, then by golly, we better be willing to do our part too. So today, I announce that I'm calling the legislature into special session to do its part, just as all of us are, to help keep our neighbors, our families, and our communities safe. Folks, I can't move this election or change the rules on my own. My hands are tied. And that's why I spoke to legislative leaders about this weeks ago. I even publicly called on them to act. They have made it clear they are unwilling to make changes. I was hopeful that the courts would intervene and help. And they did, in fact, implement some, but not all of the common sense changes I've been advocating for. All the while, I've moved ahead making plans to hold safe and fair election. I've called up our National Guard to help meeting, meet staffing needs at polls across our state. I've worked to provide PPE, cleaning supplies, hand sanitizers, and pens for every polling lo location. But the bottom line is that I can't ignore the municipal leaders from Green Bay to Milwaukee to Waukesha that they have now significantly condensed the number of polling locations available, creating a dangerous situation where voters, staff, and volunteers will not be able to avoid large groups or practice social distancing when they go out to vote. This is a significant concern and a very unnecessary public health risk. I urge the legislators to take this call for a special session seriously. They must do their part to ensure public safety by convening in special session tomorrow to take up an up or down vote to send a ballot to every registered voter by May 19th who hasn't already requested it and to extend the time for those ballots to be received by May 26th. It's time for the legislature to do its part, just like all of us are, to help keep each other safe. 